on We Found New Music with Grant Owens. And this is Crying All the Time. I feel like crying all the time. I blame it on my last goodbye. But I think it's just the way I fly. Cause I feel like crying all the time. Crying all the time. Won't you give me new pills? Anything in a pen. I just want a new thrill. Crying all the time. I blame it on our last goodbye. But I think it's just the way I fly. Cause I feel like crying all the time. I feel like crying all the time. I blame it on our last goodbye. But I think it's just the way I fly. Cause I feel like crying all the time.
taxes. I want a gold star for waking up in the morning and brushing my teeth for two whole minutes. I want a gold star for using protection and getting insurance and not driving away from a fender bender. I want a gold star for being confrontational. Even if I'm scared, I'll lose all my friends in the process, all my lovers. I want a gold star for writing this song and recording this song, even though I'll never make any money off this song. Hey guys, Grant Owens here once again on We Found New Music. We are joined by Praise Kink in the studio. Hey. Why don't you go down the line and give your name and the instrument you play in the band. Hi, my name is Chanel, they, them, and I play keys and guitar <laughs> and sometimes accordion. Hi, I'm Corey, they, them, and I play bass. What's up, I'm Chris, any pronouns, and I play guitar. Hi, my name is Drew. Uh, he, they, I play the drums. All right. Hey. Oh, we love having you guys in the studio. And we all sing. And we all sing. We do man? all sing. You do. You <laughs> all you sing. sing together, and that's a big sing lovely. component of the band, and mm. that's why you should go see them live right away. Yes, please. please. In addition to streaming them on, on you know, all, the, all these all things. The and actually, one of your new singles you played today, Gold Star. We're going to get into that. Uh, but first of all, <clears throat> you can go down the line however you want to answer these. How does, where did you guys get the name Praise Kink from? Okay, I'll take this one. So I dated someone that was terrible, but they had a Praise Kink, and uh, I took them out to this show, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're doing such a good job meeting all my friends and like doing karaoke, and they're like, oh my God, stop, I'm like in love with you, and I'm like, what's happening right now? And they're like, I have a Praise Kink. And I was like, what's that? And then they cheated on me, and I kept the name. Oh, so. <laughs> okay. And yeah. then as it turned out, we all have praise kinks. Yeah, we that's really do. Really, that's I think most true. people do, to be honest. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Grant, mm -hmm. you're doing a really good job with this interview. <laughs> Thank you. You know? Yeah. You got mm -hmm. a little pink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm lost, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Back to the interview. Um, <laughs> please tell us some of your musical influences. Um, yeah, we have a lot. Uh, we all come from like very, not different backgrounds, but very varied backgrounds of uh, music. Um, but I think sort of like a lot of unifying stuff is we love a lot of like early 2000s garage rock. Bingo. White Stripes, The Strokes. Oh, yeah. Um, all that stuff. But also a lot of like Broadway. Theater. Yes. Just Huge. To, and like, you know, Queen and a lot of like those big arena acts. So like <laughs> really it just comes from like trying to like do this like cool modern rock thing while also being true to our like theater nerd selves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just just being ridiculous yeah it's a and perfect combo of both of those making it really dancey so. oh, and, yes bingo Absolutely. we want to make you That's dance like. and cry mm -hmm. and you're doing it you're Thank doing you. it today tear comes down yeah. Yeah. single tear <laughs> um, did we get that on tier. camera there you go, there you go. uh so how did you guys meet uh well, I have a really interesting kind of origin story with the band. Uh, back in 2021, I was swiping away on Tinder, um, and who do I come across but Chanel no. seeking bandmates and hey. also love. Who um, yeah, knows what will happen? I'm obsessed. <laughs> and we connected. I joined a side project initially, got moved into the band. Um, we dated. La -di -da. So oh. we did indeed date uh, for a couple months. Um, broke up. Remained friends. Wrote songs. Yes, Chanel wrote many a song about me specifically. You could hear them on our Spotify. <laughs> yeah, there they're there. <laughs> um, a deep emotional well for songwriting um, is breakups. Um, and that's not even the first band I've joined off of Tinder. There you go. But really? that was my origin story. What? If anyone else wants to chime People in. People join bands off Tinder? Oh, it's, yeah. It's a great networking tool. It I is. heard about Craigslist, but yeah. Tinder? All right. That's where it's at. Really? Yeah. yeah. I know, well, right? I think Chanel's dated everyone in the band. 
I've dated everyone. That is true. So you like dated everyone on Tinder and was in all of their bands. <laughs> Chanel just has no matches left. It's true. I deleted the app. Tinder is like, there are no more people. Yeah, there are. Area. That has happened to me before, actually. I have like a specific type, you know? Yeah. yeah. But obviously not yeah. at all. Um. So, <laughs> so, type is breathing. So the song Gold Star, which you played today, tell us about the inspiration for that song. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the inspiration really came from just you know from like early childhood and mm -hmm. elementary school when we would just get a gold star for yeah really anything just doing simple things and just loving that yeah and just when you grow older you don't get any appreciation like that right you mm -hmm. know sometimes it's just nice to get little you just don't. rewards yeah. for simple things getting done and you really outline it in the song chanel it's, the whole yeah, it's just like very upfront and if you come to our shows we'll give you gold stars oh yes yeah. so. that's a big component true. another yes. reason to come to a show come to a show <laughs> i also Validation. will kiss you probably yes I'm I'm glad you brought up the gold stars because we all loved them back when our teachers would give them to us. So thank right? you. Mm -hmm. So thank you. I mean, yeah. you know. Well, so you guys headline a circus? We are. <laughs> Question mark? Are you wearing like circus <laughs> ball earrings right now? I'm wearing little clown earrings. I got from a fan. Um, yeah, so we headline the secret circus every month-ish. Cool. It's a queer cabaret show. Okay. Live bands, circus performers, fire, aerial, pole dancing, burlesque, whatever you, you whatever know, you think fancy. of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then vendors, like we have like tattoos and Sick. face paint and all that jazz. So yeah, it's a really good way wow. to keep our community healthy and happy uh -huh. and celebrating ourselves and each other and meeting new people. So, so people can learn more about that if they head to your socials? Yeah. And where does it take place, this circus? It's at 10 DTLA. Oh, sick, cool. Yeah, yeah. it's across from the Grand Central Market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's loverly, also a queer-owned bar, so. Yeah. If you didn't notice, we're very queer. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Immediately yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, um, yes. Yeah, so our next one's August 11th, okay. and it's Barbie-themed. Barbie-themed. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're wearing a lot of pink today, so you're it's already true. getting ready. We dyed the hair today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. August tenth, you said. August eleventh. Eleventh. Look at me. Friday, baby. Messing everything up here on the interview. You're perfect. Uh, so, speaking of, we need to talk about <laughs> these live shows. First of all, you guys singing all these harmonies. I don't, how did that come about? How long have you guys been performing together? Corey's uh, a nerd. Yeah. Corey's the nerd. Out. So let's hear about this um, nerd. It comes from our influences, though, definitely, which you talked about earlier. Corey. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's, there's, there's that. I think an influence we didn't touch on is like. At least for me, is like a lot of like Crosby, Stills and Nash, yeah, oh. and stuff like that. Sure, sure, yeah. I can see that. Or like that, Neil like that, Young, yeah. That, I feel like that more mm. comes across in like the vocals than it does in like the mm -hmm. instruments. Production. But um, I'm a sucker for good three bar harmony, and so mm. like every song we've ever done, I'm always mm -hmm. like, all right, is there is there a way we can get some three bar harmony in here? And like, Let's just throw a fourth in there. Eighty percent of the time, there is. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, and it goes back to the theatrical thing. Exactly. Too. Okay. For sure. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. No, I mean, I feel like somebody walking into the uh, room for the first time, I mean, you know, that catches people off guard because it's not common, you know, mm. especially in the indie scene, like to have three bar harmonies. So mm. that's why you got to go run and see them live. Well, we're all songwriters yeah. in our own right. And like Corey had their own project and Chris has been in several projects. So we're all like lead singers, you know. So and that's so, why it made sense. Yeah. Why not use our gifts? Well, you're going to go far, guys. And maybe you'll be on the stage with... Crosby, Stills, Nash. Hope so. Uh, and yeah. they're alive. Oh, if they're alive. Nash. <laughs> if, if they're alive. Um, Crosby, Stills, Nash, if you're listening. And Craze Cake. <laughs> <laughs> or Neil Young. The same demographic. Too. <laughs> you also loved some other bands that you mentioned earlier. Tears for Fears was one of your mm. favorites. Bingo. Yeah. That was a fun time. Huge yeah. influence. I mean, yeah, even just to talk more about influences. Um, the, the theatrics come from the arena rock style of our influences, yeah. too. Just giant, like, wall of sound kind of production, and especially live. Um, I can speak for myself. I go nuts. Yeah. Like, I create a yes. space for myself where I can, like, just freak out, get as much energy out, and, like, have as much fun as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I firmly believe that, like, if the people on stage are having fun rocking out, the yeah. audience is going to mm -hmm. have fun. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think there's a show we've played in the last few months where you haven't wound up on the floor at some exactly. point. No, it's it's like exactly. I'm doing like Pratt Falls in the middle of a guitar solo. It's um, <laughs> have to. It just comes out of me. I don't mm -hmm. know. Damn. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, then. So what's next for you guys? Uh, 
We've got a show with We Found a Music. Yeah. Ooh, who's right. that? Oh, I wonder, I I wonder who runs that. Ooh, at, um, at a Bowie-themed hotel. At a Bowie-themed hotel. Hotel Which City. I, I'm sure Bowie's an influence for it's you guys. Got. 100%. Inspiration. Yes. Yeah, 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 for everybody, yeah, yeah. as he should, yeah. right? Absolutely. It's even like yeah. the face paint the or face like whatever, paint. the androgyny, yeah. all of yeah. that, right? August 1st, Hotel Ziggy. Yep. Um, we found a music presents. Found a music Praise presents. Kink. Hell yeah. Mystical Joy right on that. Uh, there are a bunch of great artists that same night. So very stoked for that. And then you got the circus show coming up, the 11th. Mm -hmm. And so lots of fun stuff. Great music out. Uh, Gold Star is out now, right? Yeah, yeah. and but Crying All the Time. Yeah, both crying songs all the that time. we performed are out uh, We'll be releasing Love Bomb soon, which is about the person where the, the name came from. Okay. That's yes. about them. The very ex. I blocked them. I don't know if they're hearing this, you know. I hope they are. They um, unblocked you just to hear the uh, probably, interview. Probably, yeah. yeah. I, I sent it to them. Like the day we broke up, I was like, I wrote this song about you called Love Bomb. They're like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great song. Like, I don't know. <laughs> At least you're self-aware. They're well, self-aware, yeah. And, then blocking and that's you, on then. accountability. <laughs> that explains so much. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Praise Kink. We're out of time. Thank you for joining us today. All Yay. of you, you're the oh, best. You. We can't wait thank to see you, you live. Go stream Praise Kink. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today on We Found New Music. Oh. And oh. cut. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs>